So what I do here in this bay, because there's so many crabs, you can't leave your halibut rig on the bottom or you'll have no bait. So for this bait day, I put my rod tip to the water. I allow my bait to go to the bottom as normal. Lock it. And then that's the distance from bottom in here so the crabs don't eat all your bait. And it's only 77 feet, eh? Hey? Yeah. <laughs> That's so strange to me. I'm used to, I'm still used to 250 to 400 feet. The Halleys come in this bay and clean up oh, on yeah. the crabs when they when they shed their shells. Yeah. When they molt. And they come in and eat, just shred the crabs when they're molting. <laughs> ah. And everybody comes in here and you got all the fish parts and all your crab yeah, crabs. Clean. So everything's just chum in the water for them. So yeah. they just come in and they do the sloop. And that's why when we're halley fishing here, we hit the 77, hit the break the 70 foot ledge. Oh yeah. So that you have, because the halley seem to hit that 70 ledge. If you go up to the 60 ledge, they don't ever seem to come up there. Oh, okay. Huh. But you see how we're going to tr twist around here for a bit? Hey, if yeah. you had two rods, how you'd be. Oh, you'd be screwed. You'd be screwed. But now it's time for supper. Alrighty. And this is Kits Away Bay. Kits Away Bay, right on. So it gives you something to do while you're sitting here eating supper and catching crab, cleaning crab, hanging out for the night. Just throw a rod over the side, watch it from time to time, see if you can catch halibut in 77 feet of water. To me, that's mind-boggling. I'm used to fishing 250 to 400 feet. So uh, yeah, this is all new. <laughs>